Hi everybody, it's Mary. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do July 2017 favorites. And we're going to start off with a person, which is not something that is normally in somebody's favorites, but this month it is. And you guys were witness to the fact that on July 10th, 2017, my BFF from the channel, Kristen Game, oh! She came to see me. She came all the way into Indy to see me. She came here for work. And then she was only like 20 minutes from where I live. And I went and I met her. And then we did a live stream. And uh, that hopefully shocked you guys. Because normally when you do a live stream with people, they aren't actually with you. <laughs> but she was. Um, it was a lot like coming home. You know, she's near and dear to my heart and so it just really made me happy and I enjoyed myself thoroughly. We went shopping, we went out to eat, we did a live stream and a lot of the things that are in the favorites this month are from that shopping trip that I fell in love with of the things that I got. I am wearing the Kristen Game, no these are the college ball, Game On earrings. Um, there's two sizes of those. We have th these, which I think are called the college ball. And then we have the bigger ones, which are pro ball. Um, but yeah, these are blingy balls for Kristen Games game day. Right? Okay, I know. It would have been better if it was footballs, but <laughs> they didn't have those. So we'll have to put up with these. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm wearing those earrings uh, in honor of my friends. So the next thing on my list is this. Okay, so can you read what that is? It's a cleansing wipe. Okay, so it's very convenient, but even though I'm not on the go, hashtag world's greatest rhymer. Even though I'm not on the go, these are still really handy. I'm going to clean my glasses right now. You can clean your monitor webcam with it. You can clean your mirror with it. You can clean any kind of a lens. And oh, there you are, just crystal clear now. So I really like these. Um, I'll have all the stuff listed below, but these here I got off of Amazon. My mom and dad had them first and I loved it. I fell in love with it. Um, just the name alone. I mean, from being a photographer, I knew that this was gonna be okay. These, gum makes those things that you like floss your teeth with. But when I went to the Wally World, I picked up these kind. I was like, what, they're not straight. I just, I just like these better. I like the way it comes in, not just straight on, but at, a, at an angle. It like works my gums better. It gets the food out, but it gives your gums a massage at the same time because of the angle that it's going in at. I like that because it's, I think, removing more plaque. <clears throat> so anyway, I love those. This, this I got, and then on the live stream, you saw me do it and it was broke. And Kristen uh, talked me into getting this and I'm glad she did. I really like it. So that's the Caviar Anti-Aging Thick and Full Volume Mousse for Fine Hair. And you get the bonus of that wonderful smell. Lorac Matte Palette. Look how it just so cutely fits in my hand. I've been loving it. Whoops, there went the plastic. I've been loving this thing. You know what I love about the Lorac palette too is that it'll bend over like that so you can hold it in your hands. I've always loved this palette. It's one of my favorites. Um, and you might say, well, Mary, if you had the Lorac Pro, why would you get this? Especially when it comes to light that I never travel. <laughs> well, first of all, the shades are not the same. You're not going to find the same shades in this as this close there's some that are close but i have been loving this and i think it's because it is so easy it fits right in my hand it's the same one of the same reasons i love the theory palettes by viziart is i can just hold it right there in my hand and there's not so many colors that i 
I know you guys are going to know what I mean. Um, the Lorac Mega palettes. I've had all of those. The only one I still have is three, and I refuse to even look at or buy four. Because why? It's a waste of my money. I don't use them. There's too many color choices, and it's confusing. And, <laughs> and I don't know why. I just don't reach for it. So I've been reaching for this thing almost every single day. This has caused me to pull this back out for the lid shade, which I tend to always take my finger and go into. I remember when the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff came out and I went, I don't want that. Why would I want that? <laughs> but when I saw it in person, it was a different story. So quite like the California Dreaming blush palette, this is the same for me. I've been reaching for those two, this one and that one, both an awful lot. And I think it's because I double blush when I get ready and this makes it easy for me to just dip into a few shades. Here they all are. I don't have to open a blush, use it, shut it, get another one, open it. It has blushes and then it, like these, these for sure are blushes. This one here I've used as a, a double blush. These are highlighters and they're really pretty. So. I really like this palette. While I was looking at the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, they had the eyeshadow palette there, and I still didn't want it. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'm burning out on eyeshadow. I don't know. There just wasn't anything in there that appealed to me, but those duos did. So there's a funny story about that. I talked myself out of this. I was like, oh, I kept looking at it. I really like it. I really like it. But I'm no, don't do that because how often will you really wear this? You don't, I don't, I'm not a girl that gets into glosses a lot. Now, I, I'm doing a trial today over the top of a liquid lipstick to see if it's going to cause it to run all over the place. But I don't on a daily reach for a gloss unless I just don't have any makeup on and I just want a little something. Sometimes I'll reach for my buxom. Uh, but normally, I'm, I figured this would be a waste because I'm not going to do anything but use the lipstick side. So I put it down and went for this instead, which is the, I don't have any Lorac lipsticks, so I wanted to try them. And I got this, and I thought, wow, this is little. Look how dinky this is. I mean, okay, here's a MAC lipstick. So let's compare them. See how much bigger the MAC is, or is it? This one's called Secret Agent, and look at that. Isn't that a beautiful shade? So Secret Agent is has been a favorite this month, and I can hear you, you're going, wait a minute, back up. You had that Pirates of the Caribbean thing you just said that you didn't buy. I didn't buy it. <laughs> Kristen saw me pick it up, keep putting it back, taking it out, looking at it, putting it back and stuff. And so when I wasn't looking, she bought it for me. And you guys, if you saw the live stream, you saw her say it, when she got to the end, when I got to the end, she said, you're not done. And then she gave this to me. And this one is in Risk It All. So listen, these are limited edition. So if you want one of these, now would be a good time to get it because once they're gone, they're gone. I'm, I'm seriously thinking that I need to pick up a backup of this before it's gone. It's called Risk It All. And here is on the one end, you have the lipstick. And let me show you that color. Okay, so that one is, this one here is Risk It All. And that one is the secret agent that I told you about. And this gloss on here, I love over the top of both. Now look at the gloss. See, it's kind of got shimmers in it. Now on the tube, it has this little mirror so that you can see what you're doing when you put it on, if you're on the go or something. And then you twist it off and here's the gloss. And it's so pretty. I'm just gonna put it on part. Hopefully you'll be able to see it really makes that lipstick come alive. 
there's like sparkly but not it's sparkly it looks like there's glitter in it but you know you're not eating glitter on your mouth and I just don't think this is doing it any justice here it's so pretty anyway thank you again Kristen I love this I wear this so much like I said that I'm afraid that I'm gonna use it all up and then I'll have to I'll want another one and it'll be gone so might not be a bad idea to pick up a backup of that. While we're on lipsticks, part one of the Fritzy family, Sue W., she said, I need to get Plum Dandy. And that's her favorite shade, and so I picked it up. And it's gorgeous. This is Plum Dandy. And it's a frost. I don't know if the camera is picking up the shift on this, but it's a mauve pink. So perfect for summer. I just really love this. So these three lipsticks, part of my summer favorites. Well, this here is the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is the lightest shade, and well, you guys know that I usually use concealers as highlights. This is actually the shade of my foundation and skin, so I'm not using it as a highlight. I'm actually using this thing for what it was meant for, and that's a concealer. And what I love about it is how dang lightweight it is. It's so lightweight, it does not get into my wrinkles. <sighs> I love it. Sometimes I will take, um, on a Saturday, I will take that Tarte Clean Slate uh, primer, pack it into my pores and stuff, not even put on a foundation, take this concealer and just go underneath my eyes and hit a couple of spots and that's it. I'm done. So I have been enjoying and really like this as a concealer, which it is. <laughs> this is one of the only concealers I have that I use as an actual concealer. Still enjoying. I got this in the month of July. Used it in a get ready with me. I'm still enjoying the Lash Paradise. We will see come empty time though, whether or not it turned into a mess like the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex. That mascara does not do well for me. It works for like a week. Then it turns into a flaky, dried up mess within a week. And that is just too much money to pay for a mascara that's gonna dry out on you in a week. So this has lasted me longer than a week, and we'll see by the time I get to the end whether or not it's flaking on me or whatnot, but so far, I still like the Lash Paradise. Always in my favorites are Huggies Baby Wives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these would be my, uh, my Girl Quay or Key or however you say the word i've heard people say it's quay i've heard people say it's no you're mispronouncing it it's key so however you say these sunglasses then these are the dupes yes i got them on amazon link below um jennifer has them with the pearl around them and i love those but you know i ended up getting the ones with black i fooled jennifer so jennifer thought i got those so, now, I'm sure if you put them side by side, you'd be able to tell the difference. But for my purposes, I got them for half as much and not that $50, $54 as much for a pair of designer sunglasses because I know designer sunglasses cost more. But that makes no sense for somebody like me. I am so rough on them. I lose them. Uh, every pair of sunglasses I've ever owned, I have broke out the lens on. So... These are a better option for me. Oh, what is this? A food. Yeah. Labanderia. Labanderita. 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 I know I did not say that right. There's no need to correct me. Everyone knows I barely speak English right, let alone Spanish. But these here, don't be fooled by some others that are low carb. These actually are low carb. They are five net carbs. It says it on the package somewhere. Here we go. Five grams of carbs in this. I have given up eating bread. I only eat sandwiches with this. I eat 
uh, my Mexican stuff with this. I eat my breakfast burritos with this. So this has replaced bread in my life. So Shy Guy and I went garage sailing on a Saturday and I got, why Saturday matters, I don't know. But I, when I got out of the truck, I, I have to jump down. So I jumped down and this was under my leg. And so it came down and it went bam, like this face down on rocks. And the rock, I mean, you can see that I think it was right there. The rock hit it and shattered this. I've been saving that so I could show you guys. Look at that would have been my phone. And I went, because <gasps> I think I've dropped my iPhone about 374 times. <laughs> I've dropped my iPhone a lot, but it's never hit face down on something like a rock. So it shattered it. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I peeled, I grabbed the edge of it, I peeled it off and the phone was fine. I mean, I had just got the 7 Plus. So anyway, the brand that I use is, I like it and I, I repurchased another, is it's by this company here, Omotion. And the reason that I like it is there's two, it comes two in a pack. This is in here inside one of these. This is an extra one. It comes with everything you need, a little wipe. Um, it comes with the cardboard thing that if you do this according to its YouTube video, you will not even need this, but um, it that gets the bubbles out. Uh, instructions. It comes with dust absorber tape. It comes with the little guide things to help you get it on there straight. And it's all protected inside this really nice package. And I just think that this was... This is a super great price, and it's a glass screen protector, premium tempered glass. Highly recommend. And you know what else? Just as always, you, the Fritzy family, you are the best part of the Fritzy family. So you're always my favorite, and I can't thank you enough for being here for me, for coming here, for putting up with me, for loving me. And on that note, I'm going to bid you farewell. So, if you guys aren't part of the Fritzy family, it's super easy. It's There's no big trick. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button below, and then you will be. And also, so that you know, every single time that I publish a video and it goes live, there's a little gray bell right there. If you click that, if you just ring my bell, ring my bell, then you'll be notified through your email every single time that I release a video. And then you won't miss it. That's why we call a win-win situation. All right then, so if you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye, and I'm out. Oh, <gasps> strike a pose. <laughs> Come on, Vogue. <laughs> Whoa, wait, which way does that go? <laughs> Come on. Folk. You know how you like to rub your tummy and pat your head at the same time and I can't do it. It had nothing to do with Vogue. Come on, Vogue. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you doing Vogue? And that's not how it goes. What? You never behave and do what you're told. Hi everybody, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do the something. Ah! Cut. Oh, that's how you got on that Vogue thing. What? Come on. Vogue. This doesn't go with that song. Dee 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 dee. Come on, Vogue. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Walk like an Egyptian. You can't even do that right. What? Stop. And my very first one is kind of strange. Well, no, she's not strange. It's a strange thing to have as a favorite, as a person, right? That would be my BFF from over at the channel, Kristen Game. Yeah, it's like right there, over there. Whoop, whoop. What, we're directing traffic. <laughs> Go over to see Kristen's channel. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I have on my favorite... What? What is with all these sounds today? I don't know. It's going to drive me to drink. There's Kalua in here. I'm just kidding.
kidding. I don't drink. There's no Kahlua in there. <laughs> I hope that word is supposed to be make up. <laughs> it's not wake up related. You need to wake up. You're the best part of waking up is full juice in your cup. That has no place in this video. This time, I'm really going to do it. Ready? <laughs> Sitting in the house all by yourself, cracking up over stupid crap you're doing. That is just not normal. It's so not normal. Okay, so this shade then is called Secret Agent. Secret Agent Man. Secret Agent Man. <laughs> yeah, we doing a video slide. There they are. Keep on watching, baby. Keep on watching, baby.